morning everybody I just have to show you this room because honestly look at this coming around stuff junk toys stuff on the floor shoes books lovely mess more mess although honestly that one's mine and more stuff more stuff in the kitchen Clean this main room, I kid you not, like three times a day. <laughs> and just the simple act of four people living in a house, this is what it always turns into. Like seriously, three times a day I clean this room, it is a futile effort. I just, anyway, it's, it's casual Saturday morning, I got all cleaned up, I'm ready to run some errands today, and I was checking in watching Bridget's latest video almost done with that one. Yesterday, as I told you guys, we are going up north to our property. And I'm kind of on a time crunch because I've got the PD, the Lansing PD, and up north, literally like back to back. I get home Thursday night only to leave again Friday morning to go to up north. I gotta I got be careful I keep almost saying the city name. Um, but so Usually, when we go up to the property, we go for about four to five days. And Bill's mom will come to the house, and she will take care of Boo and feed her and give her water. Well, this time, we're going up for nine days. And I am not leaving my kitty home alone for nine days. So, speaking of kitty, I hear her. There she is. See, Boo. Can you say hi, Boo? Say hello, good morning. See, someone's having her breakfast. <clears throat> so, she had her very own special shopping trip yesterday. We had a cat carrier, but it was an older one that Bill's had for years for his other cats that we had before Boo. <clears throat> and it was a hard plastic gray cat carrier case. If you were going on like an airline flight and you had to check the cat, it had been a perfect cat carrier. But because we're going to be in the car for about four, about four to five hours, she got this one instead, and it's the cutest little thing. We went to um, PetSmart yesterday, and she got a new cat carrier, and she actually like has been in and out of it multiple times since we got it. We've been she's been using it as like a little a little boo house. And so she's been playing in it. And as soon as I brought it home, I just kind of stuck it in her corner and tossed all her toys in it. And this paper is a paper that came in an Amazon Prime box a long time ago. She loves the crinkly paper, so I put the paper in there. And as soon as I put the paper in there, boom, she was in it. Now she'll even go in it without the paper being there. So she loves her little new boo house. And then she also got her new little pink collar yesterday. This way, in the car, we can let her out of the out of it, but she'll have a collar. And I bought her a little leash, so like if we stop for a pit stop, she'll be on the leash. So this way, you know, somebody could exit the vehicle, and but we'll have a secure hold on her to make sure that she doesn't accidentally, you know, zip out of the car. Because, you know, those rest stops, there's so many cars and trucks and towing things and are getting hurt. And I bought her some cute little dishes to take up north and to bring back. So, and yes, there is a theme. It's all pink. I admit it. <laughs> After all, it, it was International Pink Day yesterday. So, the fact that Boo had a shopping trip, you might as well buy her all pink. So, and besides, pink and black look great together. <laughs> so that was one of the things we did yesterday. Today, I'm about to clean this main room again, and then I need to take AJ for a haircut, because if, if I don't get him for a haircut today, he's not going to get one for weeks, literally weeks. And I can't do it tomorrow, because tomorrow he goes to see his biological father. Also, a lot of you have asked, where is AJ? Because he's not showing up in the videos as much as Casey is. Casey's little, Casey finds it cute to be in the videos. AJ's a teenager now. Um, he tends to stay in his room a lot. <laughs> and 
And so he's, that's why he's kind of like, you know, I'll take a picture for Instagram. It's Bill and Casey on the sofa watching a show. You know, where's AJ? Well, he's in his room. Um, and when it comes to being in the videos, you know, he, he's kind of doing his... Oh, son of a gun. I just broke one of my favorite bowls. Dad nab it. Oh, these are my Williams Sonomas. I love these bowls. They were awesome because of this. Oh man, that sucks. That's what happens when you talk to a camera and you don't pay attention. Talk to you soon. So little by little, the main room is getting clean. Unfortunately, my bowl is a loss. It can't be fixed. Remember how I said she likes her new little boo house? There she is. Say hello. Say who's a happy girl. Not her. <laughs> She's a very happy girl and I'm so happy she loves her new carrier because I need her to love her new carrier. She's going to be spending a lot of time in it very soon. I am almost done here and then I'm going to be taking AJ to get a haircut. I think I said that already. I also need to run to Target because as you saw in the video earlier, Bill is in the process of replacing our deck and we have wood burning as we speak. And so we're getting rid of this cedar board deck and replacing it with, um, honey, what do you call that stuff down there? Trek deck? It's like Trek. It's a composite decking. It's basically all plastic. The new deck will be plastic, a.k.a. maintenance free. We don't have to do anything to it except not destroy it. So, which I have two boys. Who knows? It could last 20 years. It could be toast in six months. No, I have two boys. No. <laughs> he says no. So, but anyway, as he's taking off the top boards, we are finding little spots where carpenter ants are trying to move in and we want to kill them kill them dead because we had a huge carpenter ant when we first bought the house. We bought the house not knowing that the base of that chimney had like a colony of 3,000 carpenter ants in it. So Bill had to literally take all the wood off the chimney and he replaced it with hardy board or cement board. And we haven't had any carpenter ants since he got rid of that nest. Well, our neighbors are telling us that they have carpenter ants. And so now that as we're like pulling this deck apart, we're finding that, you know, they're, they're traveling. And so we need to get bug spray because no, I do not like carpenter ants. They bite and they're creepy and they eat wood. And when you have a house that is, you know, partially made of wood, that's a big no-no. You've got to kill them and stop them from coming in. So that's one of the things I will have to buy when I go to Target is ant killer and he's gonna like pack the whole underside of the deck with ant killer before he puts on the new top boards. And let me try to think what else. Today I also need to start doing some packing because uh, my trip to Lansing is coming up really quick. Not only do I need to kind of do some packing for my trip to Lansing, I actually kind of want to start even packing for the boys for our trip up north. So that's gonna be kind of complicated because I don't know how I'm going to pack for them yet. They're, well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> so I'm going to get ready and go. I figure five more minutes in the main room. The main room would be good. And then I can grab AJ and we can go get his hair cut and run to Target. Bill has gone to the hardware store. Turns out he needs a few things from the hardware store. So he's going to get the bug spray and the ant killer. And that gave me a few more minutes to work on the house here and put things away. Also, um, one of my favorite things to do when I am cleaning or tidying up is I watch YouTube videos, just like you guys. And right now I am watching Michelle on Pocket Full of Primary and my heart goes out to her because she recently put up a video about her reflections on working in a Title I school. And you know, she said, working in a Title I school has challenges. It can be very, very hard. I work in a Title I school. She's right. Um, so for those of you who, you know, like left negative comments or said, you know, why are you insulting Title I schools? First of all, 
Not all Title I schools are the same, which she said in her video. I watched it. So not all Title I schools are the same. You have rural Title I schools, suburban Title I schools, you have inner city Title I schools. And depending on where you are and what your student makeup is, you're going to have a variety of challenges. In fact, I'm actually in the process of dialoguing out right now a video that I was planning on putting up, you know, realities of teachers. It's not all sunshine and roses. And I don't want to get too much into it because otherwise there'd be no point in putting forth the video I'm working on making. But there is a lot of challenges in teaching, whether it's a Title I school or not. But in my case, I am teaching in a Title I school that has 97% free lunch. 97%. I am teaching in the poorest school district in my entire state. Uh, that's just a fact. I am teaching a multinational classroom of children. You know, there are like 42 languages in my school district. 42. <laughs> that presents a whole host of challenges. My school district is inner city. My students know things that we would want to shelter our children from. Things that I would never want my children to see or experience or witness or live through. These are things that my students, it's a daily occurrence for them. Gunfire is a daily occurrence for some of my students. Police raids are nightly occurrences for some of my students in their neighborhoods where they're at. Um, I've had children who have been on the six o'clock news because they've discovered dead bodies. Like seriously, they discovered dead bodies and they're on the news and it's just like, whoa. You know, there are many, many challenges depending on where your school is located. And as a rule of fact, Title I schools do tend to have some of their own kinds of challenges. And it's not to say, oh, don't work at a Title I school. Quite the contrary. If anything, Title I schools, they need good teachers more than the other schools. They really do. It can be exhausting working at a Title I school. You will face challenges that will break your heart on a daily basis, but you will also experience love like you have never experienced before. Because for some of those kids, you will be the only stable role model in their life. I mean, some of those kids, they need you. I mean, and some of the kids who will act out the worst for you are the ones who need you the most. They're literally crying out for love. But because they don't get it anywhere else, they don't even know how to accept it from you when you're offering it to them. It's uncomfortable for them. So, Michelle, girl, I feel you, and I'm sorry you got negative feedback, but you didn't say anything inappropriate. In fact, you were dead on. Home from running errands, uh, AJ got his hair cut, and we did go to Target. I got the bug spray that Bill wanted for the deck, and I bought a bunch of little sample size things. Not for me this time, because I have all the little sample products I need for my travels, but I bought things for Bill and the boys and for going up north. I especially bought a bunch of like um, anti-itch cream, bug bite spray, and different things. Real quick, I want to show you guys these pens. I have talked about the Happy Day pens on my channel in the past. I love, love, love these pens. They are the best pens in the world for whether you're doing a teacher planner or on your own planner because the tips of these, they literally have a 0.3 millimeter tip and they write so well, so smooth and clear, but so fine. So if you're trying to write small, these are the best pens. And in previous times when I've got these pens, I bought them, the first time I bought them, I bought them off of eBay. And they shipped right from Hong Kong. And to buy the pens is cheap. 
It was like $7 to get the set of pins off eBay. But then, because it's coming from Hong Kong, they charged $7 shipping and handling. So I thought, okay, well, since the shipping and handling, so I'm going to go and buy two sets. No. If you tried to buy two sets, they charged you $14. So I was like, okay, just bought the one. So the first set came off eBay from Hong Kong. The second set of these I bought, I bought off Amazon for $7, but again, they shipped from Hong Kong, and the shipping was only like $5, but it takes like three weeks for them to come to you. Now, Amazon has them on Prime. I bought these for $7, free shipping and handling, and they were at my house in two days. Yay! I was so happy. So I'll be sure to link these in the description box below or on my Amazon store. But I, you can get either this cute little print here or the, uh, the original print I have, which is like the stripes and the hearts and the little flowers. So since I already had the stripes, hearts, and flowers, I went with this cute design here because I thought they were just really adorable. And like I said, these are the best pens for writing in your planners. So I just thought I would share that because, like I said, to get the free shipping and handling and have them come in two days instead of waiting three weeks for Hong Kong was amazing. So I have not been recording because my father and my brother did a surprise popover visit and that was that. They've been here for a couple of hours. We were just sort of visiting in the backyard while Bill was working on the deck. Now I've changed clothes. I'm just in capris and a little blue t-shirt and some sandals. We're about to go to my husband's aunt's 60th surprise birthday party. We have to go get mom on the way because she doesn't like to drive by herself anymore. So, and then we will be at a birthday party for pretty much the rest of the evening. Because it is not my house, it is not my party, I cannot take you guys with me. I am sorry, but I cannot. So I am going to go ahead and wrap up today's video for today, and I will say, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Sunday. It is actually closer to lunchtime than it is morning. I was busy this morning getting things ready. I had to get AJ to Charles because he has to visit Charles today. Casey is currently watering the neighbor's lawn and collecting their mail. Bill has gone fishing, so I'm here. And I am trying to pack and everything's just like a hot mess right now because I have stuff everywhere. I've got laundry in the wash, laundry in the dryer. I'll be ironing soon because I need to pack for obviously my trip to Lansing, but the bigger packing, believe it or not, is for our trip up north because we are going for a very long time. We never really go for nine days and this time we are. Luckily, there is a washer and a dryer and all that stuff up there at the cottage. And, but still, it's just, when you're going up north to Michigan, it's weird. Even though it's going to be July, you kind of have to pack for spring, summer, and fall. You really do. Because when you go that far north, it's really hard to predict the weather. Um, you just, you never know what you're going to hit. So... And I'm trying to pack for the boys. Bill can pack for himself. But I'm not even worried about packing for myself for up north right now. Right now I'm just trying to get the boys' suitcases packed. Also, I'm putting together like one big dop kit here. We got the baby Origel. And in here I have a toothpaste. We have Benadryl Itching Cooling Spray. Benadryl Extra Strengths Itch Stop. Um, my son's axe, and then we have more Benadryl allergy, <laughs> you're seeing a trend here, um, more supplies, Bait Junior, Tylenol for Casey if he gets a headache, Neosporin, uh, cough syrup, and then I was at Target yesterday and I was like, score, uh, the clearance for the uh, off clip-ons, I love these up north for sitting on the deck. And so the original price was, come on, focus, $4.99. I came for $2.50 a package, so I bought the last two packs. They have those, plus I have more of those in the other room along with my off clip-on. Because I swear by those things. When you're sitting on the deck, and if you're, if you're walking in the woods, the clip-on is not enough. You have to 
spray yourself head to toe with uh, deep woods off to keep the mosquitoes and the ticks and things away. But honestly, for just sitting on the deck and sitting by the bonfire, those things are awesome. I love the off clip-ons. So really, today, the bulk of my day is going to be me packing, packing, laundry, ironing. It's not going to be an exciting day, but it's stuff that has to get done. It has to be done because I'm leaving tomorrow. Hello. It is Monday. I am supposed to be leaving in about an hour and 20 minutes. I'm not ready. <laughs> I am currently cooking dinner, a dinner I will not be eating, but I want to make sure that when Bill gets home from work, he and the boys have something for dinner because he's so busy working on the deck project and he's trying to get as much of that done before we leave to go up north on Friday. So I figure, let me make a giant pot of chili. It's one of their favorites. And this chili will definitely provide them dinner today, dinner tomorrow. I did go to Costco and I bought like flautas for them for one day. I bought lunch meat. They have tuna, plenty of things to get them through to just kind of put together some fast meals. Um, unfortunately, it's not, you know, the, the wholesome, healthy cooking that I have been doing for the past week, but they won't starve. As for myself, I apologize for yesterday. I really thought I was going to vlog and vlog and vlog. And honestly, I ended up doing, I kid you not, like five hours worth of laundry and washing, drying, folding, putting away, ironing. Um, the ironing was what took forever. And then after I did like four hours of ironing, my back just seized up and was killing me last night. So I ended up just sitting down with a book and relaxing and reading once all of that work was done. But I was very busy because it's not, this is weird for me. I'm going away by myself for more than one day. I have never done that before. I seriously have never done that before. Uh, there's been one time where I spent the night in the hospital. That was the day I had my knee replacement surgery. But then I was home like the next day. But honestly, I have never been away from home without my husband or without the whole family for more than 24 hours. So the fact that I'm suddenly going to be gone for like four days or three and a half days is weird. Like really, really weird. So yeah, it's just different. And Casey right now has gone to a play date. So I dropped him off and I also actually got like a little teary because it like hit me that, you know, Casey's at a play date. Bill's going to pick him up when he gets home from work from the play date. I'm not seeing Casey again. That, that was it. I said goodbye to Casey, gave him a hug and a kiss, shed a tear, and then came home to get back to work. So it was just very strange. I'm not going to see Bill. I'll be gone before Bill gets home. So, yeah. Yeah. And so AJ is here right now. He's playing with the cat while I'm making some chili. Um, he just brought in the recycling bins because our trash ran. But it's just, it's a very weird sensation that I'm going away for a few days. I don't know if that's good or bad or sad. Maybe I should go away more often. I don't know. But yeah, this is the first time ever. Ever. Chili is done being cooked, or that didn't sound right at all. Chili is all done. It's sitting on the stove waiting for Bill to get home so they can have dinner. And my bag is packed. And yes, I am well aware of the fact that this is an insane sized suitcase for what is essentially three days travel. But you know what it is? 
It's being a YouTuber. It's not just a matter of taking clothes and toiletries. I'm also taking a tripod. I'm taking a camera. I'm taking a laptop. I'm taking uh, spare batteries and chargers. I'm taking all these things so that I can vlog and upload while I'm there. That added easily just massive bulk to the whole suitcase. So it's not all me. Part of it is the job. So, but yeah, apparently I don't travel light anymore. I'm officially leaving. I'm on my way to Lansing. Hopefully I'll bump into some of you guys in the, at the Michigan ELA conference. And with that, I'm going to sign off for this vlog. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the future, click the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys very soon.